ever wondered what truly matters to you in life? It's a question that prompts us to dive deep into the realm of self-reflection, a critical first step in identifying our core values and goals. You see, life is a jigsaw puzzle and our values and goals are the corner pieces. They provide the framework, the big picture that guides us in placing all the other pieces. Understanding these corner pieces helps us prioritize effectively. It's like having a compass, it points us in the right direction. We begin to see what's worth our time and energy, and what isn't. We start making decisions that align with our true selves, rather than getting swept up in the tide of others' expectations or societal pressures. The journey towards effective prioritization is an inward one. It's about uncovering your unique truth, your passions, and your purpose. Remember, the first step to prioritization is understanding what matters most to you. How do you decide where to invest your time and energy? A powerful tool to aid in this decision-making process is the Eisenhower Matrix. Named after the 34th President of the United States, Dwight D. Eisenhower, this matrix is a simple yet effective way of organizing your tasks. Imagine a square divided into four quadrants. The vertical axis represents urgency, and the horizontal axis represents importance. By categorizing your tasks within these quadrants, you can gain a clearer understanding of what needs your immediate attention and what can be scheduled for later. The top left quadrant is for tasks that are both urgent and important, like meeting deadlines or handling crises. The top right quadrant is for important but not urgent tasks, which contribute to your long-term goals. The bottom left is for urgent but not important tasks, usually distractions that demand your time. Finally, the bottom right is for tasks that are neither urgent nor important, and these can often be eliminated. The Eisenhower Matrix, a tool to help you decide where to focus your efforts. How do your daily activities align with your long-term goals? This question is paramount when considering the synergy between goal setting and alignment of actions. It's not enough to merely set goals. We need to ensure our day-to-day -day activities align with these objectives. Think of it this way. Your goals are your destination, and your daily actions are the steps you take towards that destination. If the steps don't lead to the destination, you'll find yourself wandering aimlessly. So, how can we create this alignment? Start by clearly defining your goals, then break them down into smaller achievable tasks. As you plan your day, week, or month, ensure these tasks feature prominently in your schedule. Every email you send, every meeting you attend, every project you undertake should serve a purpose. Each should contribute, in some way, to the achievement of your goals. Remember, every action should propel you towards your goals. Does your time often slip away from you? It's a common problem and one that time blocking can help solve. Time blocking is a technique where you assign specific time slots to individual tasks. Think of it as making an appointment with yourself to focus on a particular task. This method is not about cramming as many tasks as possible into your day. It's about dedicating focused, uninterrupted time to the tasks that matter most. By scheduling your day in this way, you can increase your productivity and reduce the stress of feeling overwhelmed. Imagine having a clear view of your day, knowing exactly what you'll be working on and when. No more jumping from task to task or feeling like you're constantly playing catch up. Instead, you'll have a clear path to follow and the satisfaction of knowing you're making progress. Time blocking a technique to make every minute count. How do you handle commitments that don't align with your priorities? Living a prioritized life sometimes means declining opportunities or commitments that don't align with your goals. It's not about being rude or dismissive, but rather about maintaining focus on what truly matters. This is the art of saying no with grace. Imagine life as a garden. You can't let every type of plant grow wild and expect a well-maintained landscape. You have to make choices, pruning away the excess to allow your chosen plants to flourish. Similarly, saying no to irrelevant commitments allows your core priorities to thrive. But how do you say no gracefully? It starts with being respectful and understanding. Acknowledge the request, express your gratitude, and then explain why you can't commit at this time. It could be as simple as, thank you for thinking of me, but I can't take this on right now due to my current commitments. Remember when you say no to something, you're saying yes to something else, something more aligned with your priorities. It's about freeing up your time, energy, and resources for what truly matters to you. Embrace the power of no. It's not a rejection, but a redirection of your energy towards your priorities. It's not closing a door, but opening a pathway towards your goals. The art of saying no can open doors to what truly matters. 
Do you prioritize taking care of yourself? This question may seem unnecessary, but it's one we often overlook as we navigate the hustle and bustle of our daily lives. Yet, it's a question that holds significant weight, because self-care is the cornerstone of a healthy, productive life. Self-care is about more than bubble baths and relaxation. It encompasses the nurturing of your physical, mental, and emotional well-being. It's about eating right, exercising regularly, getting enough sleep, and taking time to unwind. It's about maintaining a positive mindset, managing stress, and fostering healthy relationships. When you prioritize self-care, you're investing in your most valuable resource, yourself. This investment pays dividends in every aspect of your life. It enhances your energy, sharpens your focus, and boosts your resilience. It enables you to perform at your best, making you more effective in tackling your tasks and achieving your goals. Moreover, self-care can act as a buffer, helping to mitigate the impact of life's challenges. It can equip you with the strength and resilience needed to weather the storms that come your way, enabling you to bounce back quicker and stronger. So, make self-care a non-negotiable part of your routine. Carve out time for it in your schedule, just as you would for an important meeting or project. Remember, you cannot pour from an empty cup. You need to take care of yourself first so you can effectively take care of other aspects of your life. Self-care is not a luxury, it's a necessity. How do you balance immediate needs with long-term aspirations? This is a question that often puzzles us. Balancing short-term and long-term priorities is no easy feat, but it's a crucial part of effective life prioritization. Imagine a scale. On one side are your short-term needs, the day-to-day -day tasks that demand immediate attention. On the other side are your long-term aspirations, the bigger goals that drive your life's purpose. The key to maintaining balance is to ensure neither side outweighs the other. Short-term priorities are important, they keep your life running smoothly, but they should never overshadow your long-term goals. These are the milestones that guide your journey and give your life direction. Conversely, don't get so caught up in pursuing your long-term aspirations that you neglect your immediate needs. A sustainable approach to life prioritization requires you to address both. Remember, life is a constant juggle between the now and the future. Striking a balance is key to effective life prioritization. Do you try to do everything yourself? That's a common trap many of us fall into, but it's not the most efficient use of our time or talents. Delegating and outsourcing tasks can be a game changer in the way we approach our priorities. Imagine this. You're a skilled violinist, but you're also trying to tune the violin, write the music, and manage the concert hall. Wouldn't it be better to focus on your performance and let others handle the rest? That's where delegation comes into play. It allows you to concentrate on what you do best, while others take care of tasks that may not fall within your realm of expertise. Now let's talk about outsourcing. It's like having an extended team, tackling tasks that you either don't have time for, or simply don't want to do. It's not about shirking responsibilities, but about smart management of resources. Knowing when to delegate or outsource can free up your time for priorities. And remember, it's not just about getting things done, but about making progress where it matters most. Are you ready to prioritize your life with intention? We've journeyed together through a world of self-reflection, from identifying your core values to setting meaningful goals that align with those values. We've navigated the Eisenhower matrix, juggling tasks based on importance and urgency. We've explored the power of time blocking, dedicating specific moments to tasks, enhancing focus and productivity. We've learned to say no with grace, declining commitments that don't serve our priorities. We've discovered the vital role of self-care and how it propels us to tackle other life aspects effectively. We've balanced short-term needs with long-term aspirations, creating a sustainable approach to life prioritization. And we've learned when and how to delegate or outsource, ensuring efficient use of our time and talents. Now the ball is in your court. Whether you are a busy professional, a diligent student, or someone seeking a balanced life, the time to start your prioritization journey is now. Start prioritizing with intention and see the difference it makes in your life.